This week, our High Def High School Game of the Week was a wet one. The Centerville Wildcats hosted the Woodson Cavaliers, and Hurricane Ian made this one dreary. Lots of folks stayed home. Thomas McCoy and his crew was there, and we gave away some hardware. We honored Isaiah Raglan, awarding him with the Enride.com High Def High School People's Champ Award. Right on me, right on three, one, two, three. Yeah. And then the game got started, and it was ugly early on for Woodson. Three and out on their first drive. Punt is blocked here. Nathan Gradden made an impact if he didn't actually get a hand on it. Then Zach Charles knocking Matthew Hyder out of the way. He recovers for the Wildcats in the red zone. And the very first play from scrimmage for the Wildcat offense, guess who? Isaiah Ragland making it look too easy. 19 yards, 7-0 Wildcats early on. Brian Lavera for Woodson getting treated rudely by Trevor Larigo and Zach Charles. Woodson offense going backward right from the start, punting the ball out of their own end zone. It's fielded inside the 30-yard line by Tyler Coletta. He returns it down inside the 10. First and goal from the eight for the Wildcats. Kai Davis on the reverse. He doesn't get quite in, but he gets it down to that doorstep. Next play, Isaiah Raglan gets it in easy for touchdown number two in the game. Wildcats are up 14-0. He and Thomas McCoy want to celebrate with a little sign language. Woodson's next series ends in a punt, which was just as disastrous as the first two. Kai Davis fields it inside Woodson territory, and rather than hook the Wildcats up with a short field, he decides, well, let's just take this one to the house on our own. He's in that end zone. It's 21-0 Centerville. Really early still in this one, and the next time the Wildcats touch the ball, Brian Resto drops back to pass. He lets it go. Deep, he's got Thomas McCoy just cruising into that end zone. It's 28 to nothing Wildcats. Four plays from scrimmage, four touchdowns. They're gonna get it again after another three and out for Woodson's offense. Next play from scrimmage, Isaiah Raglan just strolling into that end zone for touchdown number three for him. We're still in the first quarter here. It's 35-0 Centerville. Woodson offense not having any traction. Warwick Dunn takes a dump pass. Zach Charles showing how, just how he feels. I don't want you in my house. Get out. Then Brian Resto on the next Centerville drive. He drops the snap, picks it up, takes a look downfield, moves it into that secondary, just kind of makes his way down the left side and out of bounds. Moving the Wildcats close to that 10-yard line. A couple plays later, he takes the snap, and he's in. Easy pickings. It's 42-0. Wildcats up with 7.31 left still to play in the first half. <laughs> Centerville marching band having the time of their life playing Dancing Queen. A few minutes later, still first half. A.C. Green spinning around, breaks loose. He's on the right side. Nolan Rowe gets a hold of that shoulder pad, drags AC down at the one yard line, and a play later, AC, he's in that end zone, getting some reps, getting on the board. Centerville staying on the board all night long. It's 49-0, first half, not yet over. Coach John Shields happy with his team tonight. Centerville rolls on to a 63-0 win. They take it home, and we asked Isaiah Raglan how good this Centerville team is and how far they can go. I think we can go as far as we want to go, to be honest. Um, we got a strong front, strong D-line, strong secondary. And we have great chemistry, and we all like to see each other doing great. So if we keep pushing each other and everyone does their job, we can go as far as we want to go.